the final tab that we want to look at is called taxes. So in here, you can have an estimate of your upcoming self-assessment tax bill. And if we click on that, we can see the tax year listed here. So if you have multiple tax years, so you've started your company a few years ago, you'll have each tax year listed on free agent. You can go ahead and click on it as well. And obviously this is the current tax year, so it's gonna give you all sorts of warnings and things, which don't worry about that for now. When we scroll down here, you will actually see an income section for UK interest and dividends. Free agent knows you've paid yourself a dividend and it will automatically add it in to your self-assessment return on here. So if you ever wanted to see a breakdown of how much is the estimated bill for the current year, you can actually go here and click your tax breakdown and free agent, anything run through free agent, such as payroll, when you update the banking and add in dividends will be automatically added onto here. And this means you can get a rough estimate of how much personal tax you're gonna pay on anything you've taken from the company, which is very handy and very smart and I'm glad it's a feature. And of course, they're going to use the previous year's personal allowances and tax rates and thresholds. So just keep that in mind. For 1920, it's gonna be 12,500 personal allowance. So if you want an accurate or a more accurate calculation of the tax due, then you can always email us directly and sort that out for you. The next tab is corporation tax. And this will simply, it's just the corporation tax calculation that you see on the overview page. It's exactly the same thing. It's just like a more detailed account. And it might be a little bit confusing, first of all, because in the first year of trading, you're always gonna get an odd accounting period because the entire period is over 365 days. So it's gonna be split up into two sections. So don't get too confused by that and don't worry too much. Um, but yeah, essentially the tax due here is gonna match the overview page. We just add these two together. The next section is called PAYE and National Insurance. All right, and anytime we run payroll, it'll calculate what amount your company needs to pay over to HMRC. So in this particular case, the salary has no national insurance and no tax, so nothing is paid to HMRC. There will be, once we add a VAT number onto free agent, so we're still waiting on the VAT registration, there will be a VAT tab and it'll outline, if you're on the flat rate scheme, it'll outline all the invoices that have been calculated for the percentage of VAT that we're on or we're using. On the standard rate scheme, it'll take all the VAT that you have invoiced, so the full 20%, and then it'll take away all the VAT you have paid on expenses. So we have to make sure that the correct amounts have been entered onto free agent when you're explaining banking or adding in expenses that you've paid for personally. It'll take away those VAT charges from the total amount you've invoiced. And whatever's left over is the amount you pay to HMRC. But when we send the VAT return anyway, we will print off the full report for you so you don't have to bother going into here and finding it. So it's more for your reference, but again, the overview page will track any VAT that you have to pay to HMRC. It will also track any PAYE deductions you must pay to HMRC. So whatever is left over on the overview page under this carried forward balance, is completely accurate as long as everything has been updated. I hope you enjoyed this quick training video on free agent and found it useful. Please feel free to refer back to it anytime you get stuck. And also, if you do have any other questions such as more complicated explanations for transactions and you're really not sure about that haven't been mentioned here, feel free to email me directly and I will get it sorted for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and again, any questions, just let me know.